The impact of business on climate as well as on people is big because it has a huge impact worldwide if you only look in the trade streams. Climate and working condition, people and planet go hand in hand. If we are not doing well for the climate, we're also not doing well for the people. Sustainable trade means that if we trade, we take into account the positive negative impacts of trade and mitigate those. And the impacts of trades can be on people, can be on planet, but also can be on profit. Because if business is not making profit, they are not there for the long term. They need profit to be able to invest in the future, but also need profit to invest in working conditions for the people, but also in mitigating the environmental footprint that they have because of the services and the goods that they produce. If that all goes hand in hand, that's what we call sustainable trade. Amphori started in 1977, so it's not new. It started as a voluntary initiative by some retailers in Europe who said we need to work together to advance sustainable and open trade. This initiative, what started small, grew. So today we've got 2,500 members in 52 countries, so really beyond uh, Europe. Amphori members are diverse, but they're all companies and worldwide. We help our members on the ground. We have got a team here in Brussels, but we also have network representatives in 17 other countries because we need to be where our members or their suppliers are. Amphrey exists because we live in a very diverse and complex world. And it's not only diverse and complex culturally, but also when we talk about companies that work worldwide under supply chains, they're extremely complex, they're also very diverse. That means that when you embark on the ESG due diligence journey, you need to take into consideration many different things and no one can do it alone, and no one can do it by themselves. Therefore, Amfree is a meeting point also for collaboration and cooperation. Amfree enables all these members and their business partners to be able to have one go-to place where they can also collaborate and cooperate. No one can do it alone. It doesn't matter if you're the biggest company in the world or the smallest company in the world. You have the capacity to do different things. Amphrey puts them all together, learns from all of them, and then delivers in a way that they can all fill in the gaps. We have chosen Amphrey since it's a well-respected uh, worldwide operating company that really helps us on conducting social audits and uh, they help us on our journey to more sustainable um, environment in our factories. Uh, associations uh, like Amphori offer a big worldwide uh, network where you can gain lots of information on social, environmental and governance topics. Uh, it learns us a lot and uh, we are really focused on European law and legislation, but the Amphori network helps us to transfer uh, it to the international uh, law and legislation, especially in the production countries we are working with. Amfri BSCI, or Business Social Compliance Initiative, is our most important product in the social pillar. Business Social Compliance Initiative by itself explains a little bit, but let me put it in simple words. This product enables our member companies to analyze the different social risks. For example, the risk that there is um, child labor, that there's no equal pay, that there is forced labor, and other topics like that, right? And they can analyze that throughout their supply chains, and they can verify it also, and then they can do remediation processes whenever it happens. So how to prevent it from happening? This is a quick snapshot of Amphori sustainability platform. This is a demo platform, so there's no confidential data here. We have developed this platform so that it's very easy to use for members and business partners. There's different views. This is the view from a member's perspective. Then there's one for business partners. There's also one for auditing companies, etc. It's very simple because you can see all your supply chain in sustainability. You can have the different profiles of all the companies that are working in your supply chain as a member. 
Yes, you can list all of them here. You can invite all of them here. And once you have invited them, there's many different things you can do. For example, you can do continuous improvement activities. You can do risk assessment in the case of environmental risk assessments. Or you can, for example, do monitoring, that's audits. You can do social audits or you can do environmental audits. And you can see the results of these audits. We give an overall grade, but the overall grade simply indicates what kind of improvements you have to do, because we always have findings. And we always give the factories specific findings of things that they can improve. So there's always a continuous improvement plan. It's very easy. And once you see these results, members will see these results, they can also request different improvement activities. So in countries like Turkey, BSCI plays a very key role, right? Because Turkey is a country where you have lots and lots and lots of different factories, for example, textile factories, yeah? They produce and then they sell to many companies worldwide. For example, here in Europe, many companies in Europe, they source from Turkey. And companies both here and in Turkey, they want to ensure that human rights are being observed. It's really hard to put in words the impact that Amphorey BSCI has had during these 20 years of existence. It's huge, because so we're talking about more than 2.5 thousand members using it. We're talking about tens of thousands of factories and sites. We're talking about literally millions of uh, people in the workforce of these sites. So the impact is huge. Sürdürülebilirliğin temelini insana verilen değerin oluşturduğuna inanıyorum. Tuzluca tekstili kurarken de bu aile içerisinde çalışan herkesi bu sisteme dahil ettik. Beraber büyüyerek koşullarımızı oluşturduk. Ekip ruhunu en iyi ortağımız olarak belirledik ve kaliteli üretim elde ettik. Amphorey BSCI ile 2015 yılında tanıştık ve ilk sosyal denetim skorumuz E oldu. İşletmenin ilerlemesi ve markalarla çalışabilmemiz için ilerlememiz gerekiyordu. Amfori bu konuda bizim için kılavuz oldu. Gerek Amfori e, online platformlarında, gerekse yüz yüze verilen eğitimlerle sadece bir markaya değil, dünyadaki bütün markalara çalışabileceğimiz bir temel oluşturdu. Tuzluca tekstil olarak yasal gereklilikleri takip ediyoruz. Aynı zamanda da birçok sosyal denetime tabiyiz. Marka gereklilikleriyle birlikte üyesi olmuş olduğumuz Amphorey BSCI platformunda da akademik eğitimler, yüz yüze eğitimlerle birlikte yönetim kadrosunu bilinçlendiriyor ve geliştiriyoruz. Yaptığım işte beni mutlu eden öncelikle Tuzluca tekstilin E, yaptığım görevle ilgili bana destekleyici e, fikirler sunması e, benim gelişimi etkiliyor. Ayrıca benim fikirlerimin, görüşlerimin de dikkate alınması buna ön ayak oluyor. I'm fully engaged in the business trendy because the business voice needs to be heard by governments. So the G20 governments represent the 20 largest economies of this world. Amphorey doesn't engage in every topic. We, of course, engage in topics that matters to us and our members, which is sustainability, which is also due diligence. Because without proper due diligence, you cannot understand the risks that you have in your supply chain, risk to people, risk to planet, risk to your own companies and your uh, business interests, and also cannot understand what would be possible solution of remediating uh, those risks that you have in your supply chain. In advancing sustainability legislation, it's really important that politicians understand the complexity of business and the issues that they come across to help build better legislation. We are not politicians at uh, at Amphorey, but we are the voice of our members in raising their concerns and bringing their reality towards politicians to help them make better laws and with better laws help companies to do what they're good at, but also in the same time, have a positive impact on people as well as on planet. Greater sustainability 
can be achieved if we de-silo. And what is what I mean with that? We currently have environmental, social and governance, ESG, needs to be underpinned by robust due diligence, but we're treating those in silos and we need to de-silo these. And why is that? First of all, because we see that happening in legislation where we previously had legislation focusing on human rights, legislation focusing on environmental rights, we see they're growing together since the right to a safe, clean, healthy and sustainable environment has been recognized as a human right. A truly sustainable world can be realized, and I'm a positive person, but we need to collaborate, collaborate, collaborate. Secondly, we need to focus more on prevention because that's where adding our resources makes most sense, prevent things from happening. And thirdly, we need to be realistic because it will take time to get everything done. But if we work together, we'll get there.